What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. I know I did upload just a few hours ago. If you guys missed out on that video, definitely go check that out. But we have some brand new WWE action figure reveals for you guys. You guys know that, again, WrestleMania Access had some reveals. And we, they apparently they're going to continue all the way through April 6th is what I've been told. So be on the lookout on the channel. Turn on your notifications because more reveals are going to be coming and coming as, you know, the days go by and, and you know, minutes go by. So definitely stay tuned. But this is what we got for today, guys. Ultimate Edition Series number 6 has been revealed. We obviously know that Series 5 is Becky Lynch and John Cena. But now we have... Uh, official images of series number six and you guys know the theme that they always go with they go with you know a current you know top superstar and then they go with a legend or you know an older talent you know hall of famer type deal so let's go ahead and dive in guys let's start off with the first figure and it is going to be charlotte so the current talent that we're going to be getting is charlotte flair which it looks pretty good man i like the attire i'm i'm sure it's going to come with way more than this obviously this is a very early digital rendering of the figure itself here in the ultimate edition series number six but um charlotte looks good man when you zoom in on this head sculpt i think both heads look just like her you know you can see her, the spitting image of her father right through it it. And I can't remember what attire this is, you know, what event this is. I can't remember if it was WrestleMania 32. Is this WrestleMania 35? Is this WrestleMania... I, I have no idea what attire this is supposed to be. Uh. If you guys know, please let me know down in the comment section below, but I really like it. You got the bright pink, you got the salmon type color, you got some purple and gold details going on, and I think this figure is going to be badass. Obviously, it's going to have double jointed knees, it's going to have double jointed arms, and it's going to probably come with some badass robes, so you already know that's going to be a thing, you know, they, they've been talking about it, and um, it's kind of weird as I remember, you guys remember in Series 5 and, you know, before, I think in Series 5 we were supposed to be getting a Ric Flair, uh, you know, it was teased, we got the four horse hands uh, teased at San Diego Comic-Con. We thought that we were going to be getting a Ric Flair for Series 5. That is not the case. We are not going to be getting a Ric Flair in Series 5 or 6, so I think that's absolutely crazy. But um, Charlotte Flair is the first figure here in Ultimate Edition Series 6, and you know, it's not the greatest figure for me. You know, I, I would have preferred a different talent, but you know what? It'll still be the best Charlotte, and I'm, I'm happy to replace any of my Charlottes because I feel like her figures are always super trash, so this one is not going to be trash, and it's going to go right in with our Ultimate Edition Beckys and our Ultimate Edition Ronda, which is excellent for, you know, future pick fetting and stuff. So that is awesome. I cannot wait to use this Charlotte, you know, get her pose around. It's going to be really awesome to do that next to Becky and Ronda. But let's get into the legendary talent, Hall of Fame talent, top talent from the past that you guys, the, the trend that always continues with Mattel in these Ultimate Edition series. So for Ultimate Edition Series number 6, guys, the past talent is going to be none other than The Rock. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, is making his debut in the Ultimate Edition Series, guys. And this is freaking sick, nasty farticles, man. He comes with so much. I think this is so badass. You can see that he's easy, easily more fleshed out than Charlotte with more accessories. You know, what exactly they want him to come with. T-shirts, stuff like that. So this is badass, man. I think, you know, I can appreciate this shirt. You know, we do have jackets and we've seen other things from The Rock before with the Rock and Sock connection. We've seen it with, you know, his other figure, the uh, the Attitude Era figure from Amazon or whatever that was, the exclusive figure with the jacket and the, sl and the slacks. So, you know, this is what it is. Um, I think another jacket would have been really cool, um, a chain possibly, but I can appreciate the Brahma Bull t-shirt. I think it's still badassery. I'm hyped for this figure. I think it looks so sick. Um, let's go ahead and get into these accessories, man. You got three interchangeable heads. The first head that does come on the figure in the packaging, guys, is going to be the iconic eyebrow, the people's eyebrow is what I call it. Apparently, it's not called that. I don't know. Am I crazy? Let me know down in the comment section below if you call it that. I call it the people's eyebrow. Again, I really don't know why I do that. I guess because of the people's elbow. I don't know. That's just what I've always called it. But you have the rock eyebrow lift right there. Um, the people's eyebrow, if you will, right there looking excellent, man. I think they nailed that likeness. You got the pissed off, the wide open eye. That is just beautiful, man. You also have an interchangeable head sculpt that could be a bunch of things. The yelling head sculpt right there with the eyes closed. I mean, that could be if you smell. You could have finally. You could have it doesn't matter. I mean, there's so many different things. You could put If you put sunglasses on it, 
If you put those sunglasses that you see right below that head sculpt on there, it could easily go for anything. Just a rock cutting up promos on jabronis, man. I mean, this this figure is sick as shit, man. Like, I am very hyped for this figure. I think if you get some custom clothes, you get some, like, different pants and stuff, you could fix this rock up and make it look even more badass than it already looks. So, I am so hyped, man. I cannot wait to add this rock to the collection. And uh, the third head sculpt is just a regular pissed-off rock head sculpt. And I think that all three of these are just beautiful, man. They really captured it, and I'm super excited for it. I think that what they need to start doing is just making it expression packs for every figure man start making just don't limit it to the ultimate edition come out with express expression packs where you have like a bunch of different top superstars pissed off yelling you have a bunch of different superstars talking smiling you know just regular serious faces different things like that i think would be really badass they've done that in other uh action figure lines in the past before so it's definitely something that you could look into. Maybe even Ringside Collectibles could do like a Ringside exclusive ext expression pack or something for a bunch of different top superstars. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But other than the three head sculpts, you have this beautiful Survivor Series attire. I think that's the attire. It's like Survivor Series 98 or 99. I can't remember the exact attire. It may have even been a little later than that. But um, it looks great, man. The silver lettering or sl silver white lettering with the red outline is so sick. I'm so glad that it's not going to be full silver or full gold or something. I feel like every rock figure we ever get is like that so having these colors are great i would love to see the blue version obviously um so i mean there this is just excellent man microphone you you get interchangeable bring it hands so, so we can recreate the cover of just bring it you got freaking mic holding hands fist so he comes with four interchangeable hands right there and now we can make him do the just bring it you got the wwf championship brahma bull t-shirt and this one's freaking fire man I'm, I'm so hyped for this rock figure i cannot wait for this thing to release but before we get out of here guys i do want to run through the series let's go ahead and run through the series and predict what the next series could be series number seven coming out for ultimate edition i'm sure that we're going to get two more series before the year is over with as long as you know we still get our product shipped out and they're still creating the figures at the factory overseas but Series 1 was Ultimate Warrior and Ronda Rousey. Series 2 was Shinsuke Nakamura and Bret Hart. Series number 3 was Finn Balor and Triple H. Series number 4 was Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels HBK. Series 5 is going to be Becky Lynch and John Cena. And then Series 6 is going to be The Rock and Charlotte Flair. Now Series 7... I would have to guess, like, eventually, guys, we have to get a Stone Cold Steve Austin for the legend. We got to get The Undertaker for the legend. And I'm guessing we're going to obviously be getting either a Roman Reigns or, you know, a Seth Rollins or something like that. So I could see that. Maybe even an AJ Styles could be in there. We've seen Shinsuke. We've seen Finn Balor. So I think that guys like that are among the level of Seth Rollins and AJ Styles. So we do know that Hollywood Hulk Hogan is going to be the legend in one of these series, whether it's series number seven, series number eight, whatever the case will be. You know, he is going to be an Ultimate Edition. We saw it showcased. So Hollywood Hulk Hogan is obviously going to be in series seven, eight, or nine, I guess, um, depending on when it is now we did see if you if you go back to the reveals the other day the only things that were gray were things that were coming way down the line so i'm guessing that hollywood hulk hogan will be at the end of 2020 or the very beginning of 2021 because you guys know that we did have rhea ripley we had hollywood hulk hogan both of those were in the gray render type deal and both it said for rhea ripley she was coming in 2021 so i would guess that hollywood hulk hogan would follow that same suit coming in the early 2021 period or at the end of 2020, but, um, you know, he's obviously going to be in 7 or 8, and I, I'm guessing, man, I mean, it's got to be, right? Like, Stone Cold Steve Austin has to be in this line eventually. Ric Flair, I don't know why that figure got canceled. I'm not sure if they're trying to figure out the tooling on the robe, like getting a really nice robe made, or what the deal is on that. Um, and then, of course, I think that we're going to get an Undertaker eventually in this wave as well, um, which I, I, it'd be pretty cool. What if they could do like a three-in-one Undertaker where it's like three different eras of Undertaker or maybe they'll enter, they'll have the, you know, the signature eyes rolled back, tongue out, head sculpt with another head, a serious head sculpt, a yelling head sculpt. There's a bunch of things they could do, wide-eyed head sculpt. I mean, there's so many different things that they could do for the Undertaker to go with that. But for current top stars, I mean, Roman Reigns comes to mind, you know, but you know, they really can't do a lot with him. Besides interchangeable head sculpts and like, a, I guess you could interchange like two or three vests with it or something, or maybe they could do some cool, I, I don't know what you could do for Roman Reigns. Maybe that's why they haven't plugged him in because there's not much about his attire. It's kind of boring. You know, it's just a vest. He's got the the fist, the mic holding hand, the little uh, what's up hand or the hang loose style hand or, or whatever you want to call that. You have the ponytail head sculpt. 
Um, and then you have a pissed, pissed off head sculpt. You could have the yelling head sculpt. I don't know if anybody will want to pay for that. I'm not sure exactly. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. But I love the Ultimate Edition line, man. I think it's great. One thing that, you know, the, the torsos aren't the best. I'll go out and say it. But I think most of these figures, dude, they're badass. Like, I just love them. Especially posing them around, like, the, the double jointed arms and the, the ankle articulation and the toe pivot and stuff like that, man. They, they do an excellent job on those figures. I freaking love the Ultimate Edition line. And it doesn't matter who they make next. I will definitely be grabbing them, reviewing them for you guys, so you guys can go to your Targets and Walmarts and grab them. Or I don't even feel like Walmart even carries the Ultimate Edition. I don't know. Have you guys seen a Walmart Ultimate Edition figure? I sure as hell haven't. I've always seen them at just Target. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. I wanted to reveal this to you guys. But we have WrestleMania Night 1 coming up. Pretty excited for it just to see how it goes. You know, are they going to bring it? Are they going to lay it all on the line? I'm pretty excited for that. But my review of Night 1 will be coming later on, so definitely turn on your notification bell. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think of Ultimate Edition Series number 6 down in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next video. <sighs> Thank you.